Hey, thanks for stopping by. I'm going to get my rotary fired up today, but before I do that, there's some things that I need to make sure we set up in the software so when we lay out our designs in Lightburn and burn it on a 30 ounce tumbler, we'll be assured that our designs are going to go on the tumbler exactly as you see in Lightburn. Uh, steps per rotation are pretty critical in that respect. This is a 30 ounce tumbler. Uh, it's four inches in diameter, about 12 and a quarter inches in circumference. And if you don't do this, when you do your layout in Lightburn, and let's say that you wanted a logo on uh, opposing sides or 180 degrees from each other, if you don't have your steps per rotation set up per correctly on your, on your rotary, they will be off, meaning that they won't be directly across from each other. So what we've got to determine today is the uh, Thunder gives us an idea, a, a starting point, and in our case it's 4400 steps per rotation. Okay, that's only a starting point. We've got to either confirm that or adjust it to make sure that um, when we do a layout for this particular tumbler, that it'll it'll uh, uh, lay out properly. And I'll show you what it looks like when it's not right and then how you fix it or how you dial it in. So stay tuned. We'll go ahead and try to get that done. So in order for us to go ahead and uh, figure out what the parameters are on this tumbler so we can feed that information into uh, Lightburn and do our design template, we've got to get a couple of uh, dimensions here. So our uh, dimension for our tumbler is about 3.96, 3.97. It's going to be a little wider with this tape on it. And the reason why I put this tape on here is the process that we're going to do, um, this way I don't destroy this cup. Even though this is an older cup, I can cover this up with painter's tape, do my design, get my uh, corrections done, and don't have to worry about ruining a cup to do it. So we've got this about uh, four inches across or 3.97. Um, that'll calculate the circumference, in other words, how long this is completely around, we'll need to know that. And the reason that's important is if you don't have your steps rota your steps uh, per rotation correct, if uh, you start here and you go all the way around this way, and if they're off, it might stop over here or it might stop short. And so if you have a design that, ha that has uh, spacing that's critical, your steps per rotation will throw that off. So this is critical. So once we get this dialed in, then we can go ahead and lay things out in Lightburn. And uh, what you see in Lightburn on the template is pretty much what you're going to get on the cup. Okay, so let's go into Tools, Rotary Setup, and you can see that we've got our Enable Rotary, we've got our Roller Enabled, and we've got 4,400 steps per rotation. That's a place we're going to start per the manufacturer. And then that's a 3.9 inch uh, diameter on our cup. It'll automatically calculate the circumference, which is 12 and a half. So what I've done is I've generated a rectangle here, a black rectangle that's three and a half inches tall, or excuse me, wide, and 12 and a half inches tall. And this basically represents the complete face of our tumbler. And so what we're going to do is we're going to just uh, line out a rectangle. Uh, and what we want to do is make sure that this end of this rectangle meets with this end of this rectangle. If they overlap, that means the steps per rotation are too high. If they don't touch, they're apart, that means we need to increase our steps per rotation. So let's see what we get. Okay, so we did our first test pattern, and you, and you can see that actually we've overlapped this rectangle by about, oh, probably three quarters of an inch to an inch. So we know that the 4,400 steps per rotation is too much, meaning that um, this is overlapped by this much. So we need to reduce those steps per rotation to get these two ends to actually not overlap, but just to connect. And that way our layouts will be 
uh, dialed in. So what we're going to do is we're going to reduce the steps per rotation and see if we can get this uh, horizontal overlap to shrink and shrink and shrink until they touch. Okay, so I'm going to go back into uh, Tools, Rotary Setup, and I'm going to reduce this 4,400 steps per rotation. I'm not sure really how, how much I need to go, but we're going to go maybe down to um, 42, uh, 4260. And everything else should be the same. I'm just reducing the steps per rotation. And if everything works right, I should be closing that gap. So we're going to do that. The other thing that we're going to do, the cup is, uh, I've reloaded the cup. And we're just going to move this over a little bit. So it'll give us a different pattern. And let's see what that does. Okay, so we've made a little headway. These two lines are about a half an inch away now compared to our first test right here, which was probably almost an inch apart. Okay, so that that rectangle has overlapped by an inch. So if you did a design on this cup, the spacing would be all messed up. Here, we really reduced that amount. We still got some more. We got, we've got to lower our steps per rotation uh, to get these two ends of these rectangles to touch. But we're making headway. Okay, so we know that we've uh, lessened our gap. We're making the right uh, decisions here and uh, getting this closer and closer all the time. So what I'm going to do is come back into tools, back into rotary setup, and I'm going to take this to four, uh, 4150. Leave everything else the same. And then I'm going to come over here and I'm just going to move this rectangle down the face of the cup so we can compare all three. Okay, we've taken it down to 4075. Send a new file here, see what happens. Look at that. There we go. Pretty much touching right there. Two lines. They're just very far apart. Now the real test will be, I'll take this tape off, put some new ta uh, tape on, and just do some simple designs that should be 180, degree, or 180 degrees across the cup, and we'll see how that works. Okay, so what I did is I got rid of the rectangle, drew uh, two quarter inch, this is 12 and a half inches from here to here. So I drew a quarter inch uh, circle here, a quarter inch circle here, that's a half an inch. And so there's six inches from here to the, from this edge of this circle to the edge of this circle and six inches from this circle, edge of this circle to here. And so if we go ahead and engrave these two little circles and measure between them. They should be pretty close to six inches apart from uh, edge to edge. Okay, so we got one little circle there and we got one little circle there. So there should be six inches from the edge of this quarter inch circle to the edge of this quarter inch circle. Let's check it out. Excuse me. Yep, pretty close. And so with that being said, if you measure this other side, it's got a gonna have to be that. There you go. Just a little bit off. Close enough. And that's how you get your steps per rotation dialed in a little bit better. Well, now that we've got our 
our steps for a rotation down, we should be able to go ahead and create some really cool designs on these tumblers. Until next time, appreciate you stopping by. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a great day.